Hitting is an amalgamation of innate ability, psychology, art, craft, and luck. The mound is 60 feet 6 inches from the plate, but from ball release to bat contact is a mere 53 feet. A 90 mile per hour fastball travels 135 feet per second. The ball takes 0.21 seconds to reach the plate, but you only have 0.13 seconds to decide whether to swing. If you swing, your bat travels at 75 miles per hour at the bullet train coming in the opposite direction at 90. That's if you got a fastball. Curveballs drop a foot off a table on arrival. Sliders slide, knuckleballs dance, and the menu of ways to knock you off your timing continues. The laws of physics are against you. What the difference between hitting 250 and 300 is? It's 25 hits. 25 hits and 500 at bats is 50 points, okay? There's six months in a season, that's about 25 weeks. That means if you get just one extra flare a week, just one, a gork, you get a, a ground ball, you get a you get a ground ball with eyes. You get a dying quail. Just one more dying quail a week, and you're in Yankee Stadium. Baseball is such a difficult game. As Ted Williams always used to say, hitting a round ball with a round wooded surface, it, it's moving 95 miles an hour and dipping and turning, is probably the most difficult thing in sports to do. I think uh, you know a big cliche used in baseball is that you fail seven out of ten times and you're an all-star. If you go three for ten, you're great. So you're failing seventy percent of the time. It's failing seventy percent of the time. Seven out of ten times. Seven out of ten times. Uh, the hardest pitch in baseball to hit is the fastball, low and away. So if you can, if you can say to yourself, "I can hit that pitch," then you can adjust any other pitch. You know, you just have to pick out a zone, uh, either middle in or middle away. And, I, and like I said, you eliminate the off-speed pitch. Uh, you can only look fastball. If you hit an off-speed pitch, you've really had great reaction with your hips and hands and we had the ability to stay back. It comes out like a fastball, looks like a fastball, but then at that last second, if it's a good change, it'll have that drop and you'll just swing over the top of it. I definitely try to not think about anything, just clear my head and just react to the ball rather than guess about what's coming. Sometimes I'm guessing. Some, it depends on the pitcher, if he's a curveball guy or he's a hard dude, I'm guessing. But most of the time, it's try to see a fastball, hit it. You know, there's not much thinking into it. You're just going up there, seeing the ball and hitting them. But you got to see it, get your pitch, and hit it. Um, the hardest part about the game of baseball has got to be the mental side. And my dad always said, I'm sure people have said it before, it's pretty much 90% mental and then 10% 10, 10 physical. When you get in a slump, as Pete Rose says, uh, <laughs> when a baseball player and a used car salesman get in a slump, they just got to keep hustling. Every bat is important, but once it's over, it's over. I mean, what's done is done, and failure is going to happen, and you have to accept that. You have to be able to shake it off and say, tomorrow's another game, my next at bat's another at bat, the next time I come in a pitch is another day, and those are the guys who really uh, come along and thrive and make a success out of their careers. They've got to just say, hey, this has gone by. There's nothing I can do about it now. Some players can't do that. There's no, you can't master baseball. There's no one who has ever lived that will ever play baseball and never get out or never make an error or anything like that. Like You can always get better. There's always room for improvement. And it's a very humbling game. Like One day you'll go out and go 5 for 5 and think you're the greatest baseball player ever. And then the next day you're 0 for 5 and you're like, man, I'm... Terrible. Uh, well, I think I think the game the game humbles everyone. So when you start realize, realizing that you're pretty good at the game, it'll it'll knock you down a little bit. But you know that's the beauty of baseball. Absolutely, this game will humble you fast if uh, if you're not doing the right things. And um, we call them the baseball gods, and uh, they will get you. And, and that's the one thing I think I really like about baseball is that you can correlate baseball and life almost hand in hand. Baseball teaches you a lot about life. I mean, uh, every day you learn something. Uh, um, there's always situations, learning how to handle people and, and learn how to handle a failure. Uh, that's probably the hardest thing. How you talk to yourself in your own head is very, very important. Nobody knows what's going on up there. And uh, I, I try to teach that to players that how you talk to yourself is going to be the most important thing about playing this game because 
uh, that's going to affect you on the field. Now, later on, you know, learning how to deal with failure, learning how to deal with success, uh, th that's what's going to teach you off the field too. I mean, how to carry yourself, be humble, be a man and respect things. Once they get done with baseball and they go out for a, a job interview, same thing. You know, you may go to five or six interviews and, and not get it, okay? But as soon as you go to that seventh one, it keeps uh, perseverance, keeps you coming back for more. Um, and, you know, I also think the game of baseball uh, is all about respect. We talk about velocity, and, and I sit now uh, at, in my older age, and I go, how the heck did I ever hit 90, 92? There's a lot of things you can dream of doing, but one thing I know I can't do is that. I can't hit a fastball, man.